In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to perform a log transformation and a square root transformation, uh, each of which are potential strategies for reducing skew on a variable in your data set. So what I have uh, in this data set, uh, we're going to be working with this variable. This is, I'm just calling it X, R, S. Uh, this is just basically a right skew distribution. And um, what we're going to do is uh, transform this variable uh, using uh, the natural log of x and also the square root of x as a way of trying to uh, reduce that skew on that particular variable. So um, let's take a quick look at the variable. Uh, we're going to go to uh, descriptive statistics, go to explore. We'll move our variable over to the dependent list. Uh, under plots, we're going to ask for histogram and normal plots with tests. We'll click on continue and then on OK. And looking at um, our um, variable here, you can see that in terms of skewness, uh, we have a positive skew in the data. A skewness statistic, basically um, a value that is positive um, is going to indicate a right skew. A value that's negative indicates uh, a negative skew. Value of zero is uh, basically a distribution that is, is exhibiting uh, symmetry. So if we look at uh, this, you can see we have a, a positive skew uh, on the variable. It's not a large skew, but it is a positive skew. If we want to look at the uh, histogram, you can see right here that uh, we have uh, you know, the skew um, coming down in this direction right here. So there's our positive skew in the data. Uh, the normality tests, uh, these actually are utilized to test um, whether your data on your variable are departing uh, significantly from normality. So that would incorporate both uh, elements of skewness and kurtosis. But right now we're mainly focusing in on uh, the skewness uh, issue. But you can see right here that uh, the Kamagrov, Smirnoff, Shapiro, Wilk test, both of these p values are uh, less than 0.05, uh, which would be interpreted to mean that um, our uh, distribution is um, not uh, following normality. So let's um, look at our variables. And what I want to do is I'm going to uh, perform a log transformation on uh, x as well as a square root transformation. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to get rid of these two variables here, and we'll just perform the transformation. So <clears throat> we'll go to transform compute variable. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just call this ln, uh, LN uh, x. And this is just an arbitrary name. And then uh, in the numeric expression, I'll type in ln. And inside the parenthesis, we're going to put our variable uh, or type it in. So uh, there it is. And in parenthesis, we'll click on OK. And uh, now that variable has been transformed. So if we look in our data set, we now have a new, newly transformed variable. Uh, if we want to compute the square root transformation, uh, I'm just going to reset this. I'll just call this uh, square root um, of x, and um, the numeric expression will be sqrt, uh, and then uh, bring the variable over, type it in, in parenthesis, click on OK, and now we have a new variable, which is uh, the square root of x. So the basic idea is is that if we have um, a skewed distribution, you know, if our distribution is looking, you know, kind of right skewed as we see right here, the basic idea is we are performing a nonlinear transformation with the idea of uh, you know pulling the tail in uh, and, and so essentially with the transformation the idea is that the biggest effect of the transformation is going to be on uh, you know these uh, observations in the upper tail of the distribution and so we're kind of pulling that distribution uh, that tail in um, so at any rate let's take a look at our original variable and our log transformed and our square root transformed variables. So I'm going to go to Descriptive Statistics, Explore, and I'm going to move both of these variables over to this box, and we'll leave our plots as they were before and click on OK. So now when we look at our descriptives, you can see that uh, with respect to skewness, this was our original variable. Uh, the log transformed variable, you can see that the skewness uh, is negative 0.668, so it's a, it exhibits a, a slight negative skew, but uh, in terms of the magnitude of uh, skewness, it's certainly better than what we had before. And then when we look at the square root of x, you can see a, a, a very slight po uh, positive skew. It's just a whisper, and uh, you know we even have less skew uh, than we had a, above. 
So uh, looking just at the skewness statistics, it looks like that we the best uh, transformation between the two is the square root transformation. When we look at the um, original histogram, this is it right here, where we have um, you know our our positive skew in the data. Uh, when we look at the uh, log transformed uh, variable, uh, this is it right here. So you can see that kind of uh, whisper of a, of a negative uh, skew, but it's certainly better than the previous uh, version. And then when we look at the um, uh, square root transformation, this is what we got. So it looks a lot more symmetric, um, or looks more symmetric than the original data and also the uh, log transformed variable. When we look at the um, uh, test for normality, you can see that uh, in terms of significance for Kamogorov, Smirnoff, and Shapiro-Wilk, uh, you know, both the original variable for each of those tests was uh, significant. The log transform uh, was significant with respect to Kamogorov, Smirnoff, not, not so with Shapiro-Wilk. But the, uh, you can see the p-values for the square root transformations were uh, well above 0.05. So, you know, kind of taken all together, it looks like that um, that our best bet out of the two uh, transformations is to take the variable that exhibits the square root transformation um, as opposed to log transformation. There are other types of transformations to deal with, um, uh, you know, amounts of skew, uh, skew and kurtosis. But right now, I was just mainly focusing in on showing you um, a couple of ways to deal with uh, a right skew distribution.